Oh, well, everyone, Professor Money Pick Trading, December 2nd, 2022. We see a lot of marijuana stocks pop today because there's a lot of expectation, speculation, and chatter about this marijuana safe banking. And we believe the following day will be on or around December 15th. And let's take a look why. And just in case you're not familiar with this industry, we actually have two longer videos uh, to describe what is Marijuana Safe Banking Act and the legalization history. And the link will be on the upper right corner and also on the uh, description section. And make sure to uh, follow us on Money Pick Trading on the YouTube channel to learn more about the sector. And the second video, the longer video, we actually introduce uh, the marijuana stocks. And here we uh, use Tilray as an example, and we introduce why Tilray might go up to eight to twenty dollars uh, with ninety-five percent confidence interval based on our prediction once the marijuana safe banking not get passed. And just in case you are not familiar with this sector, uh, they usually move on any marijuana legalization movement. Uh, because that can boost the whole industry. Uh, you can see right now on left side, the tail rate, the daily chart is actually breaking out with all the EMA start to merge. That's a typical breakout sign with a lot of uh, volume start to pick it up. And on the weekly chart, just uh, FYI, like in the past, once there's a legalization movement, uh, the stock price usually uh, pop up a lot. And let's take a look at the schedule. So the Congress is actually running out of time. So at the bottom of this schedule, uh, like we mentioned earlier, January 3rd, 2023 is the current Congress term finished. And the next term, GOP will control the House. And basically with the marijuana legalization could be more challenging. So uh, the Democratic um, uh, friendly or Democratic control uh, Senate right now will have to take the chance to pass any marijuana legalization or uh, related act. OK, and December 22nd to December 31st, technically speaking, there's no Congress session because it's called stay working period and also um, Christmas holiday and New Year holiday. But we have seen uh, some emergency meeting happen between this time period, but it's less likely. So uh, the Congress really need to take this time to act fast. And right now, today, we hear that December 5th, uh, 2022, so next Monday, uh, there could be a Senate rule committee hearing where the Senate could start release uh, their own version of State Banking Act. And once that number, uh, that act being released, uh, we can see the language and see how it can uh, affect the Canada and U.S. Uh, marijuana industry. And we'll probably see some offline debate between the act release day and the actual folding day. So you're going to see some congressmen and women have different opinions driving the price action of the marijuana stocks. And we're dealing with Congress, so it's not really uh, a concrete day, basically. So uh, we may or may not see the actual act on December 5th. Uh, we believe any time between December 5th and December 10th, we will see the language of the act draft. And we believe the actual, uh, the first possible folding day will happen on December 15. Uh, why? Because there's a National Defense Authorization Act, NDAA, fault. And back to July this year, the Safe Banking Act actually has been filed to be an amendment to this NDAA. And this NDAA is very important uh, because it supports the Department of Defense, uh, the budget and everything. And it has been passed in the past 41 years. OK, so that's why the current uh, Senate leadership uh, trying to combine the Safe Banking Act and NDAA to make sure to improve the chance of marijuana Safe Banking Act to get passed. Uh, so that's ideally the good vehicle to get this act passed. Uh, there is another possibility. The second vehicle the Congress can use is on December 16, 2022. There's an omnibus uh, deadline which they can combine all this marijuana safe banking ad with recon, you know, those budgeting bills, kind of hodgepodge uh, for one full session. And that's, I would say, the second uh, option, less ideal than the NDAA, but also an option. The third option is any time between now uh, to December 22nd uh, to make a single folding session just for Marijuana Safe Banking Act, uh, which will create more complication, um, which is a less likely and ideal, less ideal situation. But we just have to see how things develop. But basically, those are the crucial potential folding days uh, on the horizon. And if that happened, we could see um, the marijuana stocks uh, start to pop. And then once the fold uh, being passed, we're probably going to see another next leg up across this sector. And a lot of optimism right now, right? The Senate uh, leadership, Schumer, uh, many other um, congressmen and women support this marijuana banking ad. And we actually have bipartisan support. And our Twitter poll, which is not very big, but 90 votes, uh, suggests 76% of market participants uh, believe the Marijuana Safe Banking Act will get passed uh, before January 3rd, 2022. Uh, so 
definitely a lot of optimism on the market, and we could possibly possibly see uh, more money coming to this sector. And just want to highlight, we actually have a really really robust Discord trading group. Um, the, you see the blue line is the winning rate of our swing trading, and this most of the month uh, since 2021 has been above 50%. So very decent track record. Orange line is the average return per trade. Uh, you can see it's uh, mostly above 0%. That means most of the month we're making decent profits. And if you're interested in our Discord community, make sure to check us out on www.moneypicktrading.com. And feel free to follow us on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook group, Old Money Peak Trading. Thanks for watching this shorter video. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.